This is a look at a cheap multimeter from eBay which cost about Australian $4.20 or about US $3.20 or so. Um, I just thought I'd have a look at it and see what you get for that amount of money. It's an analog multimeter obviously. Um, so model number is MF-110A. Comes with some Chinese uh, instructions on the back. No English instructions. Inside the pack is actually a, uh, a circuit diagram for the meter. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a reasonable looking meter if, if it was made well, although it's not made very well. Um, very poor in fit and finish on the case, uh, very bad injection moulding. Um, it's, got, it's got a basic range of functionality. Um, the, it's got some probes with it, very flimsy probes, and they don't they don't engage well with the sockets on the meter. A bit loose. I certainly I don't if I, if I wouldn't recommend using this uh, meter on any mains voltage or any other potentially lethal voltage. I'd only use it for low voltage, like for batteries and whatever. If I used it at all, which I don't think I would. Um, we'll have a look inside. It's, it's, the back's held on with a screw, but I've already removed that. Um, there's a little plastic sticker over the meter movement, but that's not even in the right position, and the, you could still get dust and dirt going into the movement. That's that uh, potentiometer there is not for calibration, as you might think. It's actually for the zero the ohms range. I'm not. I won't take the circuit board off, but it looks to be fairly primitive, and the battery goes in here. Very flimsy um, electrodes uh, holders for the battery. Um, so that's about it. I mean, it this is just an exercise in seeing how what you can get for your money for a very cheap meter, and I certainly wouldn't rec recommend it. Uh, although it might be okay for a, a child who's just starting to learn about electronics, um, uh, but that's about it. I would recommend.